today we shall discuss about uh, western political thought western political thought book recommend it. western political thought plato to marx r m bhagat rm or uh, if you are uh, aspiring for UGC NET examination as well, then uh, I would suggest you to go through Western Political Thought of uh, P. D. Sarma. P. D. Sarma. P. D. Sarma, Western Political Thought. This section, now, what is significance, importance of this section? What is significance of this section? Significance of this section, like uh, in your optional subject, PSIR, in your PSIR. This is related to first paper section A. Section A. Section A usually 100 marks question, 100 marks question, out of 250 is related to Western political thought, 100 out of 250 marks question of your optional subject first paper. Then GS fourth paper. GS fourth, it is ethics, integrity, ethics, integrity, and aptitude. Broadly, we divide ethics into three parts. One is Indian ethics, Indian ethics, another one is Western ethics, third one is administrative ethics. Administrative ethics. What is Indian ethics? Like you all respect me. This is Indian ethics because I am your teacher, therefore you respect me since your childhood. You have learned that you must give due honor and respect to your teacher. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. To senior citizen of our society, this we have learned from our childhood. Okay. Under Indian ethics, you will have to study about uh, Manu, Kautilya, Buddhist tradition, Jainist tradition, Dharma Shastra of uh, Acharya Manu, Arthashastra of Kautilya, then modern Indian political 
thinkers like Gandhi ji, B. R. Ambedkar, Nehru ji, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan, Swami Vivekanand, Raja Ram Mohan Doi. The same you will have to study in political science first paper, Indian political thought. Indian political thought. Western political thought is some extent different from Indian political thought because uh, Indian political thinkers, Indian political thought gives emphasis on a spiritualism, a spiritual aspect of life and Western political philosophy gives emphasis on materialistic aspect, mundane aspect, worldly aspect of human being, right. So, here under Western political thinker, you will have to study about, uh, uh, under Western ethics, you will have to study about Western political thought, like uh, Socrates. Plato, Aristotle, Machiavelli, Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau, Rawls, etc. Then same you will have to study under the Western political thought. Administrative ethics, that what should be ethical value of a bureaucrats. You all are future bureaucrats. What should be your ethical value? What should be your moral value as a bureaucrat, right? Ethical value of a bureaucrat. Then there is certain theory in public administration that you will have to study. Besides that, uh, you must know about uh, emotional intelligence, aptitude, attitude, and emotional in, uh, intelligence to understand emotion of human being for your kind information. This emotional intelligence chapter is uh, included in our GS fourth paper because uh, to be a good human being, it is necessary for us to understand emotion, feelings of others, right. You must understand emotion. Say, be emotion is very good. This is saintly quality. This is quality of saint if you are emotional. If you have sentiment, if you have feeling, if you have emotion, this is saintly quality. Emotion is good. But you should not be emotional. Emotion is good. Sentiment is good. But don't be sentimental. Point is this. Right? Don't be sentimental. Now, question arises. Emotion is good. Like uh, emotion of mother towards her son and daughter. Usually, what happens? All the aspect of uh, children, particularly materialistic aspect of uh, children, are met by father. But most of us are more inclined towards our mother, even if she does not fulfill our materialistic requirement due to emotion. More than 90 percent successful leader of this world were emotionally intelligent. Okay. Emotional intelligent, whether it is uh, Gandhi Baba. Gandhi Baba attired himself like a common people. Right? Therefore, he was more popular than suited booted Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. So, similarly, say either you criticize Mussolini, Hitler, Napoleon Bonaparte, Mao Tse Tung, that is up to you. But they played with the sentiment of the people. They understood sentiment of the people. 
Similarly, as a bureaucrat, like when uh, you will be DM, SP, collector, then the common people like us, like me, will scare, will fear to talk to you. It is quite difficult for the common people to talk to you. They scare how to interact with DM Sahab, SP Sahab, then it is your responsibility to understand their emotion. First of all, try to make them comfortable. Right. Say, for an instance, whenever I interact with uh, any new student, first of all, I ask uh, his name. Then, uh, yes, uh, what, was, what was your subject in graduation? Yes. You hail from which district of India? Yes. Then why do you want to be an IAS? Then in this way, gradually I try to mix up with my students because in the beginning they don't know anything. If I ask uh, them any question, they won't answer. I make them comfortable. I make them as my friend. Then what happens in due course of time, they are quite comfortable with me. Okay. Most of the students of my classroom, though I scold them more than any other teachers, on that case also, they are very much found up, they are very much attached with me. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? because I understand their problem. Only differences arise between my students and me that whenever they bunk from the class, like uh, Avishek did not attend the first class, like Pragya did not attend class today, like Sumit bunk from the class today. This is the bonus, like uh, ch my champion, chase champion, after a long break, attended class yesterday. So yesterday or you have started attending class day before yesterday. That is the bone of contention between my students and me, not other ways. Okay. No. First of all, try to understand their feeling. Try to understand their weakness. Try to understand their strong point. Only then you will be a successful administrator. Therefore, emotional intelligence is included in your syllabus. So here again, political science is going to help you under Indian political thought, under Western political thought. If you go through ethics, integrity, aptitude chapter, whenever your teacher will teach just after your uh, reasoning class, Ethics, Integrity and Aptitude section will commence. They will give you hardly three to four classes under Indian and Western political thought. Not more than that. Not only here, but in all over Delhi, in all the IS coaching institutes. Not more than three to four classes. But uh, as a student of political science, you will get advantage from other students in the context of ethics, because here I will give you minimum 30 to 35 classes, minimum. So, uh, under 30 to 35 classes under Western political thought and minimum 25 to 30 classes in case of Indian political thought. Then you are not supposed to study about uh, Western ethics Western ethics uh, and uh, Indian ethics separately in your general study for paper. Yeah. This is the significance, importance of uh, Western political thought that we will study today. Now come to the point. It is said that uh, will begin, will begin 
is half done. Right? So, first of all, as usual, I try to make you all self dependent, self reliant, not to be dependent on anyone. So, again, under Western political thought, what is your syllabus? Say, usually, say in uh, your syllabus, name of only 11 thinkers is written in your syllabus. Right? Only 11. If you go through the syllabus of UPSC, name of only 11 political thinkers are given there. But you don't understand syllabus. But I will teach you minimum 22 political thinkers. Only 11 and here I am teaching you 22 political thinkers. Say for any instance, in your uh, syllabus, T.H. Green, T.H. Uh, Green is not mentioned, but question is asked from T.H. Green as well. Hegel is not mentioned in your syllabus. But if you don't know Hegel, it is quite difficult for you to understand Marxism because Karl Marx borrowed idea of uh, dialectic uh, materialism from Hegel only. But Hegel is not mentioned in your syllabus. Similarly, Rousseau is not mentioned in your syllabus. Rousseau is uh, considered a father of democracy, but democracy is in your syllabus. Right? Democracy is in your syllabus, but Rousseau is not there. And uh, in this sense, in this way, even if name of certain scholar is not mentioned in your syllabus, on that case also I will teach. If I teach you according to syllabus, right? According to syllabus, then hardly I will take uh, 20 classes, not more than that. If I teach you my syllabus, then I will take minimum 30 to 35 classes, minimum. It may be more than that. And this is the reason I give guarantee, assurance to you all. What type of assurance, what type of guarantee I give? If five question is not from my notes, then I will defund your fee hundred times. You have paid me one lakh twenty one thousand. I will pay you one crore twenty one lakh. See how confident I am. Right? How confident I am. Right? I am not giving you guarantee for the previous year, but even in the forthcoming year, say in two thousand twenty four main examination, I have not seen the question. Am I right or wrong? I have not seen the question. I am giving you assurance in the context of 2025 as well. But you will have to update my study material, my classroom material with current affairs. Okay. And uh, go through my current, uh, current affairs section like you may associate with me on my telegram, telegram channel. Fortnightly, I submit. Uh, fortnightly, I give uh, current affairs material to all the students, and for that purpose, you will go through the channel of uh, Telegram channel of Destination IS Academy. Now, under syllabus, again, you will draw a big chart. This is your homework. Left side, you will write name. <coughs> Left side, you will write name of the scholar. And the uh, right side types of question is asked in the examination. Now, come to the point. Under Western political thought, first one, play two. Play two. Under the section play two, what you will have to study? Influence. of Socrates 
इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ सॉक्रेट ऑन प्लेटो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फेस इट सेकेंड वन प्लेटोस नोशन ऑन प्लेटोस नोशन ऑन जस्टिस सेकेंड वन नेक्स्ट वन प्लेटोस व्यूज ऑन स्टेट नेक्स्ट वन प्लेटोस व्यूज ऑन फिलोसफर किंग नेक्स्ट वन प्लेटोस व्यूज ऑन कॉम्युनिज्म कॉम्युनिज्म एंड कंपेयर इट कंपेयर इट विद मॉडर्न कॉम्युनिज्म मॉडर्न कॉम्युनिज्म कंपेयर इट विद मॉडर्न कॉम्युनिज्म compare it with modern comedy comparison between between aristotle and plato comparison between aristotle and plato comparison between aristotle and plato next uh, one entire western political thought is either platonic either platonic or anti platonic but never never a platonic or you may call contribution of plato contribution of contribution of plato on western political thought western political thought uh, contribution of plato on western political thought plato on western political thought this aspect uh, we will discuss in detail uh, today only and uh, this is the first uh, thinker plato is first thinker here then uh, second one aristotle aristotle i will not elaborate here various facets related to aristotle once uh, i will start uh, aristotle topic then i will uh, elaborate that uh, you must give emphasis on these facets on uh, these facets of aristotle's political thought 
the next one is Machiavelli. Machiavelli. The next one, Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau. Only Hobbes is mentioned in your syllabus, not Locke and Rousseau. Locke is uh, considered as father of modern liberalism, and uh, Rousseau is considered as father of democracy. Then uh, you will have to study about Bentham and uh, from Bentham, then uh, Bentham, T. H. Green, Green, J. S. Mill. J. S. Mill. The three scholars are inter interlinked with each other. The next one, you will have to study about Hegel and Hegel and Karl Marx. Karl Marx. Then we will study Lenin. This is not mentioned in your syllabus, Lelin. Then uh, we will study Gramsci. Gramsci. Then we will study Hanna Arendt. Then we will study Hamza Alvi. Hamza Alvi, Hamza Alvi, then we will study about uh, after Hamza Alvi, we will study Isha Berlin. Isha Berlin, Isha Berlin, then, uh, then Rawls, then Nogic, Nogic, Isha Berlin, Rawls, Nogic, then we will study about Mosca. Michel, Perito, C. Wright Mill, C. Wright Mills. C. Wright Mills. These are the thinkers where uh, you will have to give emphasis, say. But under Western political thinker, I will skip this thinker. Three. Nogic, Isha, uh, Isha Berlin, Nogic, Rawls, etc. We will study in the context of political theory about this thinker. We will study in political theory. And uh, even about Hamza Alvi. We will study in uh, political theory. For the remaining thinker, I will study under the Western political thought, right? Under the Western political thought. Now, let's start from uh, Plato today. Plato. First uh, facet uh, under Plato, one, influence, influence of 
shock rate on Plato. Influence of shock rate on Plato. Plato borrowed four ideas from shock rate. Right? One is virtue is knowledge. Virtue is knowledge. Second one, theory of reality. Virtue is knowledge. Theory of reality. Theory of knowledge. Theory of knowledge, theory of knowledge, theory of knowledge, theory of knowledge. And uh, next one, criticism of democracy. Four phases. Criticism of democracy. Initially, you know, I, as uh, I told you earlier, you should. Uh, prepare a flow chart like this here, uh, western political thought in this way western political thought here you will write name of a scholars thinkers and this said you will write uh, year, say 2023, 2022-2021-2020-2019-2018 2017, 2016, then write like Plato, Plato, Aristotle, Aristotle, Machiavelli, Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau, as I have already dictated you. Then if question is asking the examination from Plato in this year or not in this year, if question is asked from here, this year, write down question. Actually, you will write question, not Q. If no question, if question is asked, write down question. No question, write down question. No question, write down question. In this way, you will prepare a flow chart. Then what is the smart way of study? As I told you earlier, as well, that if any student covers 100% of syllabus, that student will never qualify the civil service in your right? If any student covers 50% of syllabus, that student will never be a rank holder. Right? Keep in mind. 